What's up everyone, my name is Andrew Fong. So today I'll be showing you how you can run your Python code on Google Collaboratory. So Google Collaboratory is basically a Python development um, environment that runs in browser using Google Cloud. You can think of um, Google Collab as a Jupyter notebook that is stored on Google Drive. And basically when you're running the code, um, you're connecting your notebook to a cloud-based runtime. And the good thing about Google Collab is that it's basically another interactive Python development and without having you to install a lot of uh, packages or dependencies before you can run the code. So as you can see, you can plot different uh, things, run machine learning models, and even use the GPU in provided by Google. So without further ado, let's get started. So first, you can go on to this link. Uh, it, it is listed down in the description. So it will take you to a Google Collaboratory research environment. And you can just create a new notebook. Or alternatively, you can go onto your drive. And then click uh, Add. And then More. And then Google Collaboratory. So these two uh, methods also works. Okay, so I have a new um, Google Collab, Google Collaboratory uh, environment. So let's let's rename it to um, testing dot i Python notebook. As you can see, it's basically um, the format is like the Jupyter notebook that we used before. So to run this code, you can just uh, type in the cell with the a equals 3 and then print A. So to run this, you can just press the uh, play button. And for the shortcut, you can just do uh, print hello world and then command return or shift enter. So they both run the code. And for the, the markdown, you can just uh, type in maybe some heading um, testing on. Google Collab and this will show you the result and for point form you can just do first point uh, second point third point you get the idea and you can also type all kinds of maybe ma mathematical formulas on that and you can just double click and it will render on the page. So now we may try to connect uh, Google Drive to our Google Collab environment. Basically to use, to be able to use um, all the documents or files or data inside our Google Drive, we need to first connect it to, uh, basically mount the Google Drive to this environment. So we can do that by, and uh, from Google, from google.collab uh, and then import drive and then do drive.mount contact slash g drive and also this yeah so let's run it and it will show you a um it will prompt you to go to uh, this URL in the browser and you have to get the authorization code to be able to access your Google Drive. So I'll be using this email and let's allow it. So let's copy the access token and then paste it here. And it will take some time to verify your identity. Okay, so as you can see, it's successfully mounted. Uh, for those who want their uh, Jupyter Notebook to be stored inside the Google Collab's default um, file, they can do that by um, importing OS and then OS dot change the, change the current directory and then follow this path content g drive my drive and then collab 
notebooks. So essentially, this is my drive here. Um, Google would automatically create a folder called a Google Collab notebooks, and it would store all your your collab environment inside. So for uh, let's run this. And if you don't want to keep pressing the code, add code button or this here to generate new cells, then you can just do Control M B. And then to list out the new directory that we are in, that we can do um, list the files by doing um, exclamation and then dot ls. And you can see there is um, um favorite poem the pie testing the pie and also my another project, which is um the same from this view. And let's try running the favorite my favorite poem. And to run a Python script, we can simply do uh, exclamation exclamation Python, and then the file name which is the favorite poem my favorite poem dot pi so let's try okay so following that is to um, actually install some uh, python uh, packages or python libraries inside this environment so we can do that by pip dot install um, how do I? Let's see. So we can test it by um, how do I I'm using um, stack in Python. Okay, so it basically teaches us how to use stack or the structure of stack inside Python. And if you want to use uh, GPU or TPU to run your code, then you can just press here and then press uh, connect it, connect it to a uh, hosted runtime. And then go to edit and notebook settings. You can choose a hardware accelerator, which is a GPU. Or if you're running TensorFlow, then you can just choose uh, TPU and then just save. Uh, just a special note is that a uh, notebook which is uh, run by uh, connected to a virtual machine will only have a maximum uh, lifetime of 12 hours. So make sure that you are not uh, loading in a lot of data and running the code 24-7. And be remember to save your code mm, whenever you finish the testing. And if you want to share your uh, Google Collab environment or Jupyter Notebook to your friends and colleagues to uh, write code together, then you can just press share and then type in the email address. And you can also change the security setting for, for this uh, Jupyter Notebook and change it to restrict it so that uh, people um, edit or with the access can can change the um, change or view this um, Jupyter notebook so that's it for me um, Google Collaboratory to me is actually a very uh, convenient solution to run Python code without having to install a lot of dependencies and make it very easily to share your code um, just like just like a Google document to your friends and uh, the potential of using Google Collaboratory is endless you can do a lot of uh, machine learning and importing code snippets from different repository inside uh, your pub, your environment to to uh, better visualize the data as well so um, I've just merely scratched the service of um, Google Talk Collaboratory. And if you have any questions or concerns or any projects that you want me to um, explore or talk about, um, this here is like a, 
uh, best fit line projects that I did. And yeah, that's, that's basically it for me. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.